couple of real quick questions, man. First off, hockey, yes or no this season? Well, it's hard to say. You know, there, there are quite a few, uh, you know, zeros apart at this point. And, uh, you know, what, what I didn't realize until today, and I was on the internet reading, was that, you know, I know that a 50-50 split would be good but you know at the end of the day the players have given up 210 million dollars you know 33 million for each percentage point so you know that's a long ways away and you know hopefully they they get something done because in the end it's the fans that uh you know that always get hurt so and when can we expect to see the new cd finally out finished and released well you know what we're still working on it uh you know I just love the writing process and, and taking an idea and, and uh, you know and, and turning it into no not only a song but it, it has to inspire people to, to make changes and and whatnot so we've got about 20 songs that, that we've written and uh, we've actually recorded uh, three that have been digitally mastered so you'll probably in the next year you'll start to hear some of our stuff come out so thank you yeah appreciate it thank my you. station's in high river so come oh. back this question of you so I don't want it from you I want it from your lovely wife okay good all right so I have to ask Johnny can say I love you a million different ways is it because of his singing or because of his football prowess that you guys got together uh, it's definitely because of the singing and not the football <laughs> I was not exactly the best football player no that's not why it's because of the singing I was a much better singer I realized at a very young age that uh, football was not my future <laughs> thank you so much and I'm up for a bunch of nods, Johnny. Another big stellar year for you. An incredible year. You know, I've always said that. I, I never ever get in the music business for a while. So I never did. But uh, it is surely nice to be recognized. Uh, it's nice to be able to sit there and be part of something bigger than yourself. And, you know, take a look around. I mean, there's a reason why we have so many biggest country artists in the world showing up in Saskatoon. Country music is alive and kicking here in Canada. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just very happy and very proud and humbled to, to be part of it. Well, the record with Grapex is in the can already. The Grapex 20th anniversary record is going to come out in a few weeks. Well, it's Man, it's like what a great celebration of two decades on the road it is. It's like a bunch of different music, video stuff people haven't seen before. It's really cool. So shiny and beautiful, and um, I felt so. I felt so touched that Derek Rattan, um, who I had written with, he was one of the first people who ever took a chance on writing with me. The fact that he would get up and give me that award, and then Brian Adams, who I'm obsessed with, um, ha had that pre taped package, and that was just so nice of him. And uh, My kids don't think I'm a star at all. <laughs> I walk around the house with pajamas and sweatpants and, you know, the tank top, so they have no idea. They kind of have an idea. Isaac's getting, you know, the picture now. He's teased in school and stuff. <laughs> the girls in the older grades coming up to me. Uh, man, it was tough because Trail was a big record for me, and uh, sometimes as a songwriter you feel like the well might be you might be done. And so when I started writing for Dirt, it was a, it was a, it was challenging. Like how am I going to outdo this this album of the year last year? And so we just I had to just forget about Trail in Life and just start writing again like I used to, and kind of put that last record behind me. And just wrote it, and we, you know, Matt produced it, and we sat back after it was done. We just, we were just really happy with it, how it turned out. I feel wonderful, you know. It's uh, CCMAs have always been a special thing for me, uh, right from the very beginning, and now I get a chance to come with these things and enjoy it. And to be honest with you, I have so many of these CCMA awards. I've got 27 of them, and I say to my wife, I say, how many more can we, can we honestly win? Uh, to be able to sit in the audience uh, and not only watch some great Canadian talent, but have a chance, have other people have a chance to go up the stage and thank their families, thank their friends, thank the people that helped them. Uh, the Stellas, what a wonderful night for them. You know, Jason Blaine, uh, obviously Dean Brody has a wonderful year. Uh, so for me to be part of that is wonderful and uh, for me to, to be able to continue the only relationship that's ever really mattered to me in this business and that is the relationship between me and the people. Uh, to be able to solidify that by putting up a lot of on by the people. And, uh, it's both humbling and, uh, and very, I'm very thankful for that.